Hello, Joel Lindstrom here. If you've been using Dynamics 365 customer service for a while, uh, you've probably resolved cases. And when you resolve the case, you've said, I wish I could customize this dialogue that pops up. Maybe you don't want this uh, field here, or you don't want the billable time field or something like that. Uh, well, the good news is with 2020 wave one, you can. So I'm going to show you what you need to do. First of all, you need to go edit the case resolution quick create form. So I'm going to go in the maker experience. I'm going to go to the forms and I'm going to go to the case resolution quick create form. From here, I can remove any of these fields that are not required, like for example, the remarks field. Maybe I don't want the remarks field to be on there anymore. And then I'm going to save and then publish. Next, in the Customer Service Hub app, I need to go to the Service Management tab and click on Service Configuration. At the bottom of the Service Configuration tab, there's a new uh, option for the Resolve Case Dialog. Uh, it's set to Standard Dialog. That's the standard dialog you see when you resolve a case. But I'm going to change that to Quick Create Dialog and save that. If you were paying attention in the wave two of 2019, we got the ability to customize the opportunity close form, which gave it a quick create dialog when you hit close that was uh, that was customizable. This is following the same logic and instead of the dialog giving you a quick create form that is editable. Next thing you need to do is go into your apps and go to the customer service app and go to the app designer. And in that app designer, look for the case resolution entity, click on forms. What you probably will find is this resolve case quick create form is not uh, visible or isn't part of the app. Check the box there and click save. So now if I go into Dynamics 365 customer service hub, and I select a case and hit the resolve button. Instead of seeing the dialogue, I'm going to see now a quick create form. And since we removed the remarks field, you'll notice the remarks field now does not show up here. So a couple of things to note about this form. Number one is you can't create any new fields for the case resolution entity. So the amount of changes you can make to this is somewhat limited. Uh, also, some fields are required to be on there. And so you can't remove a field that's locked on the form, for example. But it's a good start and a great way to uh, change that and biggest thing I think is make it consistent with the new opportunity close so you have a consistent experience. So have fun customizing your case resolution form.